We are just two months away from the 100th anniversary of the Miss America competition, and Miss Colorado is using her platform to raise awareness on important issues like social media before her big competition. News 5's Caroline Peters joining us live from Fort Carson with her story. Good morning, Caroline. Brie, good morning. Yes, Miss Colorado is using her platform to inspire anyone struggling with body issues due to social media, ADHD, or any eating disorders as well. Thanks so much for joining me, Mara. Thank you so much for having me this morning, right and early. <laughs> right and early, something you're used to since you are also in the Army. So let's talk about your journey, joining uh, you know, the Army at just 17 years old after struggling with an eating disorder, ADHD, all of it, and here you are competing for Miss America. Yes, ma'am. Miss America's in two months, so super excited about that. I made the decision to compete, or to, sorry, join the Army, oh my gosh, when I was 18 years old. I kind of made the decision when I was 17 and listened when I was 18, so I've been in for three years now. And I didn't think that I would compete in Miss America while I was in, because it just seemed like the two wouldn't mix. Uh, but I decided to compete for Miss Colorado this year, not thinking that I would actually you know, be crowned Miss Colorado. Oh my gosh. Uh, here I am, though, so the first active soldier to compete at Miss America, and proud to represent the Mountain Post, Fort Carson, uh, Fourth ID, and the U.S. Army. We're so happy and proud of you here in Colorado Springs. Let's talk about, you know, the bullying that you dealt with and how you overcame that. Well, it's, I, unfortunately, it's one thing that you just have to accept that the people who are bullying you aren't any better than you, and they're honestly just trying to make themselves feel better. And so when I was a kid and I was being bullied, I thought that I really was the odd one out, that something was wrong with me. And it wasn't until I was older that I looked back and go, you know, I was I was a little weird kid, but it's good now. It's an asset to me now because if everyone was the same, then, oh, my gosh, how boring would the world be? You know what I mean? And you're not afraid to be yourself. I think that's what makes you so special. Let's talk about social media and how it impacts young people. Absolutely. So I have definitely gotten caught in an Instagram hole before where I just, you know, go and scroll through and say like, oh my gosh, well, she's perfect and she looks amazing and my hair is never going to look like that and I'm never going to be that tall. And it's so easy to play the comparison game on social media. But I think what I want or what I really want to uh, tell especially young women in the world is that we don't need to compare ourselves because Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all those things, it's a highlight reel. It's not an accurate depiction of what people are like in real life. That's very true. And anyone that is authentic like you, look at what they can accomplish. We're wishing you the best of luck in competition in just two months. In Colorado Springs, Caroline Peters, News 5. All right, thank